Hey everybody, welcome back to Prey. So when last we left off, we were down here in the hardware labs. And I realised that I forgot something back in the lobby area. So we need to go back. need to go back and uh, check out the lobby again because we still need to find Dr. Bellamy's body in the trauma center. So I completely forgot about him when we were exploring the trauma, uh, exploring the lobby area before. Ah. Incoming transmission. Lester 42 is now following. Thank you very much. Glad you like what you see. I hope you stick around. Alright. So, we need to head for the trauma centre. To find Bellamy. Hydrate. I will gladly... Ah, there we go. The good stuff. Alright. Uh, whoop. Perfect landing. There we go. Trauma center. So it's just... Oh. Get stuck on stuff. Oopa. There we go. Alright. Trauma center. Sounds like a phantom. Ah, here we go. Bellamy tracking bracelet. Ah, here we go. Uh, trauma. Yeah, no life signs. Confirmed dead. Emanuela de Silva. Trying to follow a lot more VTubers. Oh, okay, cool. Well, <laughs> glad you chose me. Okay. De Silva apparently still alive and is in the trauma center. Where's Bellamy though? Okay, let's see if we can. Oh, shuttle bay. No, trauma center. Oh no, sorry, I'm reading this wrong. Right, hang on. Um. Duh, 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 duh. Psychotronics, maybe? What are these? Okay, it's... Organised by... There we go. Neuromod Division. Oh, wait, what am I doing? That's not going to work, is it? Because I have his tracking bracelet. So how am I going to track him? Okay. Yeah, I can't track him because then that would just lead me to wherever I'm standing. Duh. Okay. Let's just follow... Hang on, i got to turn off. There we go, turn that off. The thing's disappeared. Oh, wait, of course, yeah. I've got his tracking bracelet. I've got no idea where the guy, where the guy is, because I've got his tracking bracelet. So, oh, oh, two, including one that looks a little bit fancier than the others. 
Oh, that didn't work. Oh, crap. Wow, he just burnt right through that, huh? There we go. He's down, though. Ow, ow. fix these guys up if I have the bits and the skills. I'll take a whole lot of soda though. Note. Please, please, please with cherry on top fix the medical operator that's been sitting on your desk. System alert. Repair is needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. I am not a qualified ni engineer, I'm afraid. I nearly said qualified ninja, but that's not right at all. Uh, actually, you haven't got... No, I've not got any neuromods, so I can't go straight in for repair. Right. Got all sorts of goodies on you. Lucia Jimenez, you were one of the other, uh, what do you call it? Ah, is that our man? Luther Glass, okay. Got no remod on you, I'll take that though. But yeah, uh, Lucia, I'm pretty sure she was one of the other, um, what do you call them, uh, scientists that were at the simulation place. There we are, put that out. Oh, I see, that's where that phantom went. There we go. Ugh. And Garfield Langley, also very dead. Take all your uh, test tube racks. So these things, here we go. Requesting new operator. Transtar Pyramid 490 Medical Class Operator ready to deploy. Diagnosing. Superficial injuries. Nothing of portable medical needs. Don't try to relax. There. All better. You can fill out a service questionnaire at the front desk. Accessing a system. Please send a help alert to security. So much stuff talking over itself. Okay. Secure pharmaceutical. Nice. I remember these things. You can just deploy them and they heal you. Uh, everybody's dead, Dave. Hello, what's this? Wait, what? Oh, weird. It's the personality quiz from the start. Okay. Oh, is this the psychiatric office? Program requirements document. Studies show there is a significant likelihood of behavioural conditions and psychiatric disorders emerging from um, among the population of crew stationed for longer than three months. Impacts of behavioural issues are, ma are minimised with appropriate tools for monitoring mood and predicting risk, while including as many Earth-like amenities and recreations as possible. Oh, okay. Behavioural assessment. Okay, that's the weird personality quiz. Dr. Calvino... Tell me about the dream. The dream. Yes. It's, um, it's always in my lab, and, um, I'm standing in front of the glass. Are you alone? Uh, yes. What do you see in the glass? That's uh, nothing. a phrase we've heard before. At first, I don't want to turn it on, but I can't help it. I have to turn it on. When I do, it's like the heart of a black hole, an immense darkness. There's something swimming in the black. I catch glimpses, edges of the shape. I feel as though it wants to come through onto my side. I have to 
turn off the glass before it sees me, but I always wake before I can. What does it look like? The shape in the glass? I, uh, nothing. Does it look like this image here? Dr. Calvino, does it look like this? No. No, no, that, that's... No, I, I don't... Um... Are you sure? Uh, where did you get that drawing? Have you been spying on me? I don't want to talk to you anymore. Wow, you're a terrible psychologist, huh? Oh, there's flavor text. Hang on. Concern with Dr. Calvino is increasing. His uh, symptoms have escalated from memory loss and occasional disorientation to delusions and paranoia. His increased agitation in the next in this session has given me calls to take up his issues with Alex during a next debriefing session. Ah, you're in league with Alex, that's why. Sarah Elazar. Sarai, come in. It's Sarah, but you can call me Chief Elazar, Matt. Matthias, please. Forgive me, but your name is Sarai in the file. We've been over this. My mother Americanized it. Will we be spending the next 59 minutes like this? Because we could cut it short right now. We've discussed your mother. I thought perhaps today we could speak more about the career choices that were born of that. Serving in the military wasn't an excuse to get away from her nagging, Met. I was just... restless. And you're better now? Not restless? I'm fine. Because your last tour of duty was the evacuation, and reports from there... I saved as many as I could. For every soldier we lost, we were able to save a hundred civilians. Yes. Tragic. Still, to lose soldiers under your command... The cost was worth it, both in lives and the unification of the region. Taking on a losing battle like that? Fighting? Not enemy troops, but the equivalent of a natural disaster. It wasn't natural, it was man-made. It prepared me for here, Dr. Cole. Because this station? It's the same thing, a disaster waiting to happen. We are well-trained and poorly equipped. <sighs> the research is dangerous. Keeping secrets secret is dangerous. I'm sure you would agree. Man, Matthias is slimy. Hostilities towards me continue unabated. The distance she creates makes it difficult for me to address her issues of anxiety and distrust. Some of her answers today did leave me a bit of insight I might be able to use in future sessions over to get get me to oh get her to open up more. System alert. Repairs needed. Please Gotta love uh, Hollywood psychologists. These psych evals are a waste of time. A waste of time? Like back on Earth? That was different. Was it? Anger, issues with authority. A year of counseling doesn't sound like a trivial matter. Those files were supposed to be closed. Are you angry? I'm getting there. Any new relationships? No. I thought you and Miss Foy, the sanitation engineer, were seen together. She's a sanitation boss, and we're not in a relationship. Not anymore. Ah. And this separation... Did it involve anger? Issues with authority? Screw this! I'm done! Report me to the U's, I don't care. They're putting the station at risk just like Transtar North and just like on Earthside. You assholes will bury it with your psych eval bullshit! And another thing! Jesus. I wonder why this thing's still... Uh, why the thing is still, like, saying I should come over here. Alright. Let's read through this, because I didn't read through it before. Uh, booster shot's missing. Mm, nothing useful. Ah, here we go. Multiple people en route with injuries, as well as possible fatality. One of them is Dr. Sylvan Bellamy. Do not take him to trauma centre, he must be taken to psychotronics. It's an extremely grave security and health issue. I repeat, do not admit Dr. Sylvan Bellamy to the trauma centre. Take him to psychotronics immediately. Okay, Psychotronics Morgue. Alright, I'm going to finish poking around in here first, and then we'll, uh, we'll move on. Hello, good to see you again, Dr. Yu. Hi there, Mr. Friendly. Quarantine. Oh. Mind control. What's 
this. Subject appears disoriented, paranoid, not sure not sure how much of current behaviour is due to incident versus his new recent neuromod removals. Recommend continued observation. He's having a hard time, but what is mind controlled it says? Stuck in there, I can't get him out. Hello, good to see you again, Doctor Yu. All right. Secure pharmaceuticals. Still can't get in there. Okay. Psychotronics morgue. That away. Can I even get into psychotronics at present? You know what, I should swing by, uh, Morgan's... Yeah, I should swing by Morgan's office. I've got a lot of junk in the old inventory I should clean out. Uh, spare wrench, get rid of that. Stuff. Skibble out. Nice. Lots of good stuff. Okay. There is there anything in here that I desperately need? Hmm. Nothing I can think of. So I'm just gonna move on and start hunting for Bellamy. Up. Hey. Okay, full damage appears to be very generous. Psychotronics Morgue. Alright. I can't get into Psychotronics because I don't have the general access card. Alright, let's get back to the main the main path then. should uh, turn off that one. There we go. Okay, so we'll come... I'll come back uh, once I have the... Ooh, security, you say? Let's poke around in here real quick. Don't have the security office card either. Do I have, like, a list of... Uh, map, data, keys, here we go. So I've got simulation lab, trauma center, teleconferencing, Morgan News suite, employee entrance. Okay. Nothing desperately useful. Or at least nothing I can use right now. So let's get back to the old hardware labs. Okay. So I can come back to uh, hunting for Bellamy once I've got the uh, general access card. Quick bit more water. Okay. Got a neuromod. Can I do anything interesting with that? Yeah, I should put at least some kind of... I have a feeling that hacking is going to be useful, so I'm going to put at least a point into that so I can start cracking open some doors. Map check. Demonstration stage. Okay. Yeah, I've got to go right into the atrium and then... Calvino's workshop is in the back corner. No, set the alarm off again. Let's 
some little maintenance cubbies. What do we have? Ooh. Did you stick the landing? Oh, has had his head cracked open. There we go. Where's this brought me out? Oh, bottom of here. Yeah, that's where that guy got uh, psychic beam to death. Okay. Up. It seems problematic to have an eight foot drop in the uh, maintenance hole. That guy probably cracked his head down there days ago and didn't even realize. Like, no one Calvino cares. probably has a key card. You can locate him, or what's left of him, with the security roster. Ah, okay. And that's when we. Alright, um. Drop that down just to open that up. Yo. Russians. Okay, I'm gonna want to explore that later. Let's take this one step at a time. So we gotta go back to the security station. Oh, there appears to be a leak. Keep hearing stuff. Whoa! Just gonna lock that door. Alright. Brew. Uh, hardware labs. B -b 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 -b. Hang on. What's his. What's his first name? There we go, Lorenzo Calvino. Upstairs. Where's the nearest set of stairs? It is Atrium Beams and Waves Lab. It's a mimic about. If only I hadn't wasted that turret. Ugh. I could have sworn I saw that thing. the uh, objective marker move. It's Langley. Are you a... Is there anything weird going on over there? No, like what? I don't want you to panic. What is going on, Langley? That's always a good Not sign. sure yet. Security's running all over the place. So, everyone's still working there? I guess. I don't know. I've been in the lab all day. Hang on. I'm looking now. I don't... What's wow. that? Oh my god. I think we just lost two security. labs. What? Ugh, I have Something to go. Went... Yeah, something went boom. All right, and uh, combat focus really, really helps you mess up phantoms. What the hell? Hello, my name is Mr. Gluey McGlueface. They built a man out of the glue. I mean, thanks for all the free crafting materials, I'll take it. So this is... I believe this is ballistics? Oh no, this is just an upper office area. Okay, no password found. Ah, but I do have hacking. The hacking skill allows you to bypass security systems protecting keypads, workstations and security stations. At higher skill levels, you can hack into robotic systems such as turrets and operators. Use WASD to navigate the bitstream to reach the target. What's inside? Okay. Right, so I've just got to get the ball. Oh. Control. Why control? There we go. Small scale testing. To whomever gave dear Gluey McGlueface arms, aka first shift, I bow to thee. At first I thought the jelly deal hat could not be topped. 
I stand corrected. Your triumph for creation of baseball club hands cannot be equal. Sincerely, the unworthy second shift. Ah, here we go. If you need supplies from the machine shop, the supply closets is two. Key hood is two two four eight. If you take anything, please let me know. Glue test results. Da da da. Optimized for small stale test chambers. Clean stainless sheet metal plate. Thoroughly coated specimen on sheet metal plate. Successful with minimal waste. Okay, this is ta this is them testing out the glue gun. Neat. How to fix an orator. Operator. Apply impact calibration. Percussive maintenance. Hit it with wrench until it works. <laughs> I mean, that sounds about right. Bunch of weapon upgrade kits now. Anything in the fridge? It's officially out of inventory space. Okay, I'm gonna spend some of these. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna upgrade. Come on. You have to like move the. There we go. Uh, magazine capacity. No, range will probably be good. And I will also put a one on here. Yeah, improve the range. Oh. Stun effect. Oh, I see. No, uh, range. Because you have to get really close to use the stun gun. Crispy Fritz. Alright, I'm actually just going to leave the rest of the food there, so I can come back for it. Now then. Up. There we go. Nice. Thorstein, Hardaway, oh, he's very dead, figures as much. Ah, damn it. Nice. Thorstein's cabin. I think that's the director of the lab. Hmm. I have the sense he admired you. Unfortunate. Thanks. Here we go. Is this guy conveniently written down the number to his safe? Dr. Thorstein. Thank you for the new reployer. Uh, I know some people have been waiting this for one of these. It was a pleasant surprise to find one in my office this morning. It is the feeling of gratitude that makes it awkward for me to trouble you further. However, could you spare one of your engineers for a bit? It would be great if you could swing by and show me exactly how it works. Nice. <sighs> what was that, like, really old sort of American home movie of just like, Wow, I always wanted one of these. It's like a little kid on Christmas. Wow, I always wanted one of these. What is it? <laughs> Uh, wanted to clear a Morgan request again. Morgan was down in hardware today, just standing there as if not sure where to go. When I offered to help, Morgan asked for more operator parts. I asked if the last one we'd sent hadn't been sufficient, and then got a blank look. I mean, no offence, but Morgan's requisitioned enough to repair any operator on the station five times over now, and we have other operators that need maintenance. Right. Okay, that's the space elevator. We've already read that. Black box. Okay. I need to find a recycler sooner rather than later. Okay, let's go track down Calvino then.
Oh, okay, that's brought me in the back of here. Pre-made ah. material. Please keep an eye on Franklin. Man spends far too much time on personal projects and recreational pursuits. We're all human here, I get it, but I'm worried you may use the propulsion system to access unauthorised areas. Mm. This is Gus down in Cargo Bay. I found something curious in an outbound container on my shift. I think it's a fabricator plan for an automated autonomous turret. It was stashed with a bunch of old capacitor cells slated for delivery to the Pythias facility. Might have been an accident, but I don't know. One of the officers put, put it in a safe in life support. Nice! So I can print out my own turrets if I can find a way down to life support. Direct to Thorstein's office. Well, I don't need to hack my way into there because I figured it out. Calvino isn't feeling well enough to present the latest looking glass tech, so I'll be away from the labs for an extended period. Okay. Yes, they did say that uh, Calvino was having a bit of a hard time. Exterior breach. Not going in there, then. That side of the lab was breached. Hard vacuum. No gravity. There's an exterior airlock in the machine shop you could use to reach him. You'll have to upgrade your suit with a propulsion system first. Okay, we're going to have to go out the long way, then. So we found him. There we go. Oh, statue. Last Frontier. Oh, I see. And down. Ah! Just got fucking jolted by that thing. I didn't even realise it was there. Okay. More corrupted operators. I, ooh, I can slip right under here. If only I could repair this stuff. So I see two corrupted operators. Oh crap, this is not going well. Stop! Stop, stop, stop. Yep, I've got bigger problems right now. Jesus. They've got bloody welding torches. Alright, beer, that's no good to me. Uh, yep. Eat everything. Don't mind me. Damn. He's just going to be sick on the floor in a minute. Okay, and my suit is absolutely shot to bits as well, so I could... Okay, okay stun gun. There we go. Bloody things. Got welding torches. Or Q beam cells. I'm assuming the Q beam will be in the beam lab, which I can't get into without a jetpack and a helmet. Engineering work journal. Preliminary tests with an increased spring constant. Duh, 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 techno babble. Okay, nothing particularly informative or useful. The Huntress is ready. I think it's ready to go now. I've dubbed it the Huntress Boltcaster. Clive, I love your idea for capacitive tips on the bolt. Send me a technical spec and I'll incorporate into the ammo fabrication plan. Those tips will activate any touchscreen they hit. I've gathered a lot of trash for feeding the fabricator so we can make some after work and try them out. Mary. There we go. Uh... Have you looked into the operator dispensing logs and the missing parts? Every operator on the station needs to be accounted for. I'll ring it up with Alex next. P 
Please do. It's not my responsibility. It's Morgan's. Ah. Yes, because Morgan built January. So, probably had to, like, slyly pinch some, uh, some operator parts to get it done. Oh. Oh, shit exploding. Uh. Again, nothing particularly useful here. So, please tell me there's a bloody recycler around here, because I have burned through all of my ammunition. Oh, what's this? Engineering operator. operator. Hopefully this one isn't going to come out. Already corrupted. Transtar, Cobalt, 14, Engineering. Ah, nice. Okay, so medical operators restore your health. Engineering operators restore armor. Got it. Aha! There's a recycler up there. Oh. Back here, you. Where'd you go? Hey, get back here, chair. Was it the chair? Where did it go? There's a mimic around here and I've lost it. Every airlock has a manual seal you'll have to disengage before you can spacewalk. While engineered as a safety measure, it's irrelevant when the enemy is already inside the station. If you do go out there, I wouldn't stray far. The Typhon may have spread to the exterior. And remember, other airlocks you find will have to be opened from the inside first. Okay, so that's... Last uh... thing. You don't Shortcuts. have a propulsion system for your suit yet. You'll need one to maneuver. There we go. Hoppa. Yeah, spare glue gun. Spare wrench. Anything else? I'm gonna... Recycle all the booze as well. Because one health point is really not worth getting pissed for like six minutes. Alright. That gives me a whole ton of stuff. And there's a fabricator right here, which means I can make lots of bullets. There we go. No millimeter ammunition. Make anything else around. Ah. because I need them. Yo. All right. Uh, how's glue? I've got lots. How am I for Psy? So seven. All right. So we're all in good order. Still need to. Oh, hello. Propulsion system plan. Hey, Clive. Sorry for the bolts all over the machine shop. It's really the only place I can try out the new gun. I think it's coming together rather nicely. Still want to help? I've already recruited Mary. Man, I guess you guys must be real bored around here. Don't sweat it when the cat's away and all that. I think I have a few ideas. I'll draw something up and send it to you and Mary. Oh! And then that's how they came up with the uh, touchscreen end. Satellite presently in the repair bay of the machine shop is scheduled to be decommissioned. However, Dr. Kelstrup has requested that we remove the psychotronic transistor elements and install them in the new satellite. Don't know what they do, so I don't bother asking. Just get it done. I've not seen a satellite. Well, regardless of such, let's make ourselves a jetpack. Hang in. Oh, and it works indoors, so I can... Yeah, I can long jump now. Yeah, 
whole lot of EMP grenades on you. Oh! I saw that. You. Surprise attack on a mimicked object. Yeah, you can't fool me. Oh. Engineer mods. Soldering iron. Spare parts, always good. Still got lots of shotgun shells, but no shotgun. Clive, we need to up the reload speed on the glue cannon. The actuators are slow on this thing. That's why we have weapon upgrade kits. Ooh, telescope. The moon. that lead. Oh, there's the satellite. Okay. Repair three. Yikes. That thing must be absolutely scrapped. Alright. Well, I now have a jetpack. So let's go to space. Now, open internal lock. So now if I open up and open up another one, I can instantly get between there and, um, and the hardware labs. So it's kind of pseudo-fast travel, I guess. Some more water while we're loading. Mm -hmm. 832 metres long. Wow. It's a big freaking space station. Oh, no. Ugh. Microgravity, right. Transstar suit is equipped with a perversion. Yes, I've done that now. Navigating zero G, use W, A, S, and D to thrust and shift to boost. Q and E to break. You press space to ascend, control to descend, hold Q. Oh, I see. Right, so this does actually obey physics. Oh, this is going to take some getting used to. Oops. Yeah, so you do gradually show, slow down through just like reverse thrusters. Okay, so Dr. Calvino's up there, and there's apparently a bunch of, bunch of uh, dead bodies around that I can investigate. But yeah, I'm going to. Oh, science operator, what are you doing out here? Right, so I'm going to assume you guys restore my side points. I blasted right past you. Sorry, can you do that again? I'm just going to leave him to it, and I'm going to go investigate these dead bodies in our shuttle bay. So it does actually obey physics, yeah. So if I just take my hands off. I am not touching any controls whatsoever, and you just keep going. Oh god. Ah, okay. If you're above 1.5 meters a second, you do gradually slow down. Corrupted operator, or are you good? You're fine. Hey, buddy. Better not jump up and bite me. Ah. After all that, all he had on, on him was his lunch. Alright, let's go after the good doctor at last. Do not crash into anything while going at that kind of speed, because that seems like a great way to lose an eyeball. Now I'm curious as to, like, what the, um, what the boundaries are. Here, can always do more of them. I'm going to assume that, those sort of solar panels, that's the exterior boundary. Because it seems like I can go pretty far away from the station, just as is.
I'm guessing there's a point where you just like leave the station's gravity well and just drift off into eternity. Right. Nice, you do restore Psy. Alright, so now I can finally get back into here. There's the conductor. Yes, probably death. That's uh, a safe assumption. Careful. Reach, fails. Urgh! Oh god. Here we go, control panel. How do I... Oh, I see. Breach, fail, safe. That's just sealed the door. Oh, God. I have zero fucking control here. Well, that's not true. I am just very bad at this. Again, shotgun shells. No shotgun. Okay. As well. Oh, I see. That will probably allow me to get back in the easy way. And fix it. How many neuromods do I need to get repair to? Uh, neuromods. Engineering. Repair two requires four. Unfortunately, there is a lot of stuff that I want. Mio? There's your card. Uh, this is Dr. Calvino. What's up? I'm feeling ill. Oh, oh, damn it. I think I won't mean be in for my shift at all. You found him. I was listening Not to surprising. that. Well done. Hang on. Hold L again, is it? Mio? There we go. Uh, this is Dr. Calvino. What's up? I'm feeling ill. I'm not myself today. I think I won't be in for my shift at all. Okay. Do you still want me to finish this array? I fabricated a shit ton of glass. Array? I don't recall. You asked me to set up a new array. You must have misunderstood. Are you... Honestly, I prefer if you left my experiments alone in my absence. Uh, well, look, I have a message you left me. Seriously, I would not have made all of this if you hadn't... No, no, of course. I, uh, I remember now. Uh, let's just, uh, for the time being, uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter? Uh, uh, let's talk about it tomorrow. Yikes. Poor uh, Dr. Calvino is really scrambled. Barely remember anything one day to the next. Ah, back on solid ground. Right, now I can finally get back into the doctor's office. Let's maybe not get. God. Really? That can break your guns? There we go. Fires repair too. God. Glagga gagga. Should have just killed the power. Oh, whatever. Here we go. What is going on in there? Some sort of something. Wait, what? Sim Labs. Oh, I see. This is. Okay. That's just telling me where various looking glass setups are. Alright, let's get this thing fixed. No power. Activate. Has that done it? There we go. No connection to host. No connection to host. Let's just 
just go through all these until we figure out which one's not working. There we go. Action restored. Bingo. Nice work, Morgan. The looking glass screens are online again. Head back to your office as soon as you can. It's important you hear the rest of your message. I'll meet you there. Righty dokey. What if I scale so when it... Okay. Custom coffee cup that weighs exactly 170 grams. And a scale that sends an on-off signal when it reads 170 grams. Okay. Something secret in here, I wonder. Is it one of these ones, I wonder? Ooh. Well, that didn't work. These one, these coffee cups don't look any different from the others. God damn it! Two two nine. Ah. Okay. Where is this custom coffee cup then? And why is this such a pain in the dick to Oh come on, why would you design this? Nine. None of these coffee cups look any different from any of the other coffee cups. Hmm. Okay, so I have no idea how to get this thing open. Recycler. Look. God damn it. Give me. Give me. Oh, damn it. Uh, should I take leverage one? No, I want to save up to get better repair. It's only one medical kit, it's not a big deal. Oh, there's a phantom walking about. Uh, something else that I want to check out as well. Yeah, I want to get in behind the demonstrations. He heard that. Just going to quickly... Just going to dip and leave him to it. Nice. Gear mod and a bunch of goodies. So where are we... Uh-oh. Uh, this is, um... Oh, crap! Oh! 
I was trying to close the door. No life signs. Alright, let's try that again. How far... Where's that going to put me? Oh, only back here. Nice. Oh, shit. I'm going to leave you alone. Mio, uh, this is, um, this is Dr. Calvino. Ah, the well, I suppose you've turned in, uh, or you're ignoring me. I, I just want to, well, I, I will be a, a little late for my shift tomorrow, but, um, uh, the, the first thing in the morning, I want you to put together a new micro lens array. You see, the, the old one is, it's garbage, and uh, get what you need from the machine shop. And if Clive is being an ass, just take it from the supply closet when he's not looking. Uh, we're not supposed to know the code, but, uh, well, uh, I'm sending it to you anyway. Uh-huh. Interesting. Okay, let's leave nice and carefully. Ooh. There's a lot of goodies down there, though. Not a good time. Yeah! Crack him in the head. Okay, that was sloppy, but we made it work. Get a whole lot of crafting material. Darts. Okay. Oh, even more stuff. Prowl. Increases movement speed while sneaking. Nice! Slap that in. There we go, chuck all the spare pistols and what have you in there. Okay. Still trapped backstage, though. Just gonna have to carefully make my way out. So, what is this about the machine shop? Can't get into the ballistics lab. Or can I? Ah! Welp. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to take a, uh, a real brief moment. And, um... Damn it, I'm back here again. Alright, I'm going to take a, uh, a real brief moment and uh, we will be... There we go. We'll be back in just a moment. Don't go anywhere. Okie dokie. We're back. Need to close the door properly. Scooch. There we go. Right. That again. Okay. Back upstairs. All that. So those electrical arcs fucking hurt. So don't go anywhere near that. Ok, 
again. Sloppy, but... Ooh! Null Wave Transmitter. Ahem. Developed in psychotronics, the Null Wave Transmitter emits subversive signals which suppresses the psionic abilities of anyone caught in the blast. Neat! So that'll just, like, turn their brain off for a, for a while. Alright, so I want to try and get into... Oh, nice. Ballistics is already open. Fires out. Oh! Wait, no, that's chemical lab. This is ballistics lab. Not getting it that way. Can't hack it. Oh, but you've got the key. Convenient. There had better be a shotgun in here. Ballistics lab. Do I know the code? No. Oh, there's a bunch of mimics in there. Yeah. So what were they doing with you? Here we go. Oh, I see. Disruption recycler charge went off with my foot in range. The organic material that was once part of me is now neatly compacted in this sphere before you take heed. Oh no! Oh, this is where they were testing the recycler charges and one of them... Oh, that's a pity. Right, they must have thrown in a bunch of stuff in there to test out the recycler charges and not realise there was a mimic. Nice. So recycling a mimic gets you uh, exotic material. Just testing the recycler charge and something peculiar happened. I placed in the usual source material into the chain road, set off the charge. Mixed in with the result was something I've never seen before. The purple, almost organic looking substance. Maybe something contaminated the source material. I'm unsure how to... Ah, okay. They did not realise there was uh, mimics in with all that. Uh, ah! Recycler charge fab plan Thorstein's quarters. Remember that. Anything else around? Breach fail safe. Well, I have a bunch of recycler charges, so I'm going to use them. Stay clear. That's got some suck. Poor Lily, new code is 5542. Oh, ah. 5542. There we go. Bunch of materials. <coughs> that was weird. <coughs> Water. Oh my god. Wow, my throat just went really fucking weird on me for a second there. Ah, my eyes are watering. What the hell? You ever choked on your voice so hard you go cross-eyed? Okay. So... Machine shop. Where is machine shop? Demonstration stage. Machine shop. That one. You know what? I've had enough of getting jolted by that thing. Let's go up the long way. There is a medical bay. Nice. 
Hey, medkit fabrication. That'll come in handy. Requesting new operator. Boy, will you just do the rest? Transtar Pyramid Maybe I can help 490 you. Medical Diagnosing. Parameter. Looks like you've had a rough day. Please hold still. This will only take a moment. All done. Don't forget to complete a patient questionnaire. Your feedback will be invaluable. I do like that touch, that the operators are still being very sort of inane and normal. Because obviously they don't know what's going on. He's just a little, he's basically just a glorified Roomba. Yeah! Don't mimic a... Don't mimic an explosive canister when there's explosive canisters around. Ooh, where's this leading me? Ah! Okay, alternate way of getting into the room here. Up. A whole bunch of goodies. Still around. saw that alert. Where are you? Oh. Radiation. There appears to be a leak. Okay. Um, which way is the machine shop? This is the machine shop, and there's... There we go. Okay. Ah, whole bunch of goodies back there. Okay. Nice try, bud. But no dice. Okay, so I think I seem to have mimics locked in fairly well. Damn it, there we go. Material got wedged under. Oh, I see. You sit there and take bullet after bullet, but the moment I go into... Ah, oh, you fucker. Weapon kit fabrication. Nice. Spares, medical kit, sci-hypo. Hero mod. There. Typhon Lure, aka the Nightlight. Emit emits a psycholuminescent signal that entices Typhon to move towards it. Combined with other weapons or tactics to escape, ambush, or observe Typhon from a safe distance. Handy. Oh, wow, this is just like a, a really hammy uh, space opera novel. Nice, someone's made themselves a little cubby back here. That's cute. made yourself a, a little secret hole. Okay, so this isn't what I thought it was. Let's try storage. Hmm. So there's a safe around somewhere. You know what? Downtown. Uh, 
cyclo charges. Just grab. Ow, 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 ow. Coming through. Inspecting. Super. Your super charge is wear and tear. Counter set. Job done. Thank you kindly. Okay, so there is apparently still a safe around here that I haven't found. Okay, I'm going to check status. Wait, no. Data. Keys. Machine shop supply closet. Oh, was that the one that I hacked open before? Yeah, that must be... Yeah, storage. Right, okay. Didn't even need to come back here. Well, I got some various fabrication plants, so... Oh, God. Didn't even think about that. Okay, so looks like phantom shots have uh, quite a lot of travel to them. Okay, so I could get hacking. Uh, I think, honestly, repair, enhanced repair is what I really need right now. Right, calibration. What's that? Firearms? Security work. Okay. Uh, no, I need higher repair because there's so much stuff around here that needs me to repair it. I'll get firearms next. I apparently know this guy's code. It just leads up here. Weird, I could have sworn I opened this door before. Oh, whatever. Alright. Back to the office. More water. Mm -hmm. Stay hydrated. It's important. Oh, hey. Make some flower cuttings just for free stuff. Oh! You know what? I'm gonna just leave you alone. I'm gonna climb over the uh, sculptures to get back to the office. Launch! Yeah! Alien threat detected. Get him! Yeah! Fuck him up! Nice. Okay. So you're apparently some kind of special mimic. Okay. else? Nope. Nice. So now I have a bunch more plans. Weapon upgrade kit, glue canisters, med kits. How much stuff have I actually got? I've got ten medical kits. Um, and I'm actually going to apply that to the glue cannon. Less ammunition to incapacitate. Grand. Okay, let's finally fire this off.
You're not going to like what I have to say next. T-Post for You have to destroy Talos-1. The research, the Typhon, nothing can survive, including you. I know how it sounds, but you've seen what those creatures can do. They're a part of you now. If even one cell gets back to Earth, we're lost. I'm sorry. I wish there was another way. January can walk you through activating the self-destruct mechanism. Alex will try to stop you. He's allergic to failure. Too proud to go back to mom and dad with his tail between his legs. So it's up to you now. Good luck. Told you you wouldn't like it. Uh, no kidding. Uh huh. So that's our overarching plan for the rest of the game, is to just blow this place the hell up. Ah! Hello. Glad to finally Hello, meet you, Morgan. person. I'm January 2035. I'm an operator. There are many operators aboard Talos 1, but none of them are like me. Yeah, you're apparently uh, your plan B. me. My first task was to free you from the simulation. Second task was to make sure you saw your video. Those are done. Interesting. New directives are now available to me. The self-destruct protocol for Talos 1 is activated by two arming keys. Your brother has the first. You had the second. Alex destroyed your arming key. But you hit a fabrication plan for a new one in deep storage. That's where you need to go next. We can worry about getting Alex's key afterwards. The Typhon are spreading fast, Morgan. You'll be racing against them. And your brother. This key card will grant you access to the main lift and all the labs. The main lift is the fastest way to reach deep storage. Okay. Ah, general access at Next last. topic. You asked me to provide you with more neuromods, which I've done. Good luck, Morgan. Just you designed me to assist you. I have more instructions, but I can't access them until you've recovered both arming keys. Right, one thing at a time. Whoa! Bloody hell, okay. Hi! Bloody hell, you dudes are quick! Sick on the floor, I guess. Okay, so turret in the uh, in the main lobby is now down. I can't fix that though. Let's get rid of the. Uh... There we go. What does it take to make a med kit? Not a whole lot, to be honest. There we are. Get that and just use it straight away. Okay. Okay, probably should have... Get you fixed up. Uh, first things first, though. Now I've actually got the um, general access card. I can finally get into the trauma center. Or finally get into wherever they're keeping uh, Bellamy. Oh, and I can lock the door behind me. Oh, wait! I could have gotten in here much earlier if I just... Oh, if I'd known that was there, I could have just shot through it with the uh, dart gun. Elias, left your character sheet on the printer. Don't forget we moved the game to the rec centre in crew facilities and it's an hour later than usual. Do us a favour and take a happy pill before showing up. 
character sheet, you say? Turns out Yuri Kimura is like everyone else. I'll tell you after lunch. Oh, workplace drama! That safe's broken. Hello, Morgan. This time we spoke. My code name is December. My purpose. Okay. Help you escape Talos 1. I know your room is shot full of holes, but you left instructions at the Typhon should break containment. Alex has a private escape pod. You made a copy of his launch key and hid it in the Neuromod division, along with a supply cache. I'll transmit the location to your map. I'll contact you again when you've got the key. Oh, interesting. You're heading to Psychotronics? That's... wait. Okay, I see. Did you already know about the main lift? It's malfunctioning. I'm not sure why, but the car is stuck at the top. There's another route through the Psychotronics lab. Morgan, that lab is where the Typhon broke containment. Please be careful. I mean, I didn't mean to come down here. I was just looking... I, I was told that Bellamy was down here. Up! Wow, you didn't care about that story. Crap. Crap. Put him with holes. There we go. Good morning, Talos. Warning. Tampering with administrative controls on workstations or keypads may result in electric shock. If you're having trouble accessing a system, please send a help alert to security. So, can't get that way. Well, that's fixed up now, so I can use that route without getting zapped. Jeez, these phantoms are really nasty. So they can teleport like crazy. Alright, I need to patch myself up. Nope. Use, there we go. Keep having like brain farts when it comes to the inventory controls. So, December, I'm assuming, is a another contingency plan that Morgan made during one of his many like Groundhog Day moments. Because apparently he's gone through this a lot. Psychic Psychotronics lab was built around the Russian Verona 1 satellite that first encountered the Typhoon in 1959. Yeah. Psychotronics is the opposite of safe, Morgan. What are you after? Someone's helping you. Is it Michaela? Elazar? It'd just be spy. I can eavesdrop on your brother's messages. We're in agreement on this one. Get through this place fast as possible. You're looking for a maintenance airlock to a utility tunnel called the Gut. So, uh... It'll take you all the way to the top of the station. Hey, okay. Going through the maintenance tunnels. there's a wait objectives what's this oh it's a neurobot division hmm been contacted by another operator named December like January it has my voice however December's directive is to help me escape Talos 1 he claims that before I lost my memory I hid the key to Alex's private escape pod in the debriefing room of the neuromod division Okay. Hmm. Oh. Uh, 
where did that mimic go? That's weird, it's completely vanished. Uh, hacking, 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 hacking. It's four. I wonder. Here we go. Six. Do it? Yeah! I'm a bloody genius! Oh, damn it. He says then immediately fat fingering the, the power. Nice! Weapon upgrade kit. Hell yeah, unlocked. Download the map. Yeah! That's such a cool feature. I love it. So I'm going to get down into the guts of the facility. I've got some turret guns I can deploy. This will be good. Iron Kurt. Although the relationship between the USSR and the United States had warmed in the past few decades, there was little doubt that vestiges of the Iron Curtain still hung icily between the two countries. Indeed, more than a century since its inception, Vladimir Lenin's communist vision found itself alive and well between, with the oft-expanded boundaries of Mother Russia. But with each new Soviet annexation, the USSR began to find that the public outcry no longer came just from the Americans, but from its own citizens. The Mensheviks, as they came to be known, opposed to the aggressive Soviet expansion doctrine, were at first only a minority. The Menshevik movement continued to grow rapidly. Eventual events would ultimately culminate following the Soviet Indian intervention with the outbreak of civil unrest led by the Mensheviks and the beginning of the Second Purge. Ah, so there's the point of diversion with our own history. They had a uh, popular uprising against... Uh, against the Soviet leaders because they didn't want to keep the Soviet people didn't want to keep taking over new countries just pop you there for a second while I go and investigate the other bathroom no recycler charges should top off my health and top off my side as well. Can't move that. Can I go around though? Yeah, I can go around the long way. I'm just gonna put you here-ish. Oh crap. Line you. There we go. Nice. God love turrets. Man, this bathroom is roady. Star bender cycle. Okay, so that's just more of the uh, that space opera book that I found before. Psychoscope mandatory beyond this point. What's a psychoscope? Oh, good. That's a lot of blood. 
adjustment required. Okay, you need to adjust your attitude. There we go. Ready to scan. Ooh. Lord's fallen out. Scanning target, no type of material detected. Ooh. Can I? Gross. Shit is clogged. I ended up now. Oh god. How the hell did they break through that so quickly? Okay, so someone like... Yeah. Someone glued themselves into a back corner here. Psychoscope. Ah! That's a real big 60s space helmet. Whoa. The Psychoscope was a breakthrough. Apart from neuromods, it's the most important tech on Talos 1. Use okay. it to scan the Typhon organisms if you want to learn what makes them tick. You invented it, by the way. Uh, <laughs> just drop that real cash. Okay, toggle your psychoscope with Z to mark and scan nearby enemies. Scanning Typhon reveals new abilities and can you can acquire... Ah! Okay. There we go. So, scan Typhon organisms. Neat. There we go, so... Scan. Scan complete. More specimens required. Right. Oh crap. Scan complete. More nice. specimens required. And blew him. Ah, oh, damn it. He seriously just like teleported behind me. Most enemies aboard Talos 1 are stronger than you, at least initially. Before attacking head on, try gaining advantage by disabling them first. Yeah, figure that one out. Okay. I'm going to cut this one a little bit short here because I'm kind of running out of steam. So we are going to pick this up another day, probably tomorrow, though I'm not sure because, again, I'm pretty busy. Real life stuff, unfortunately. But we'll be back soonish. Until then, whenever then may be. As I usually say, if you want, like, up to the moment um, updates, keep an eye on my Twitter. Thank you, good night, and much love.